I'm thinking we need to have a pretty grumpy video, bud. So is a 4-1 lead just a death sentence or what? Ah! What? Are you serious? <laughs> Mind blown. We need ideas. <laughs> I'm dumb. Deli hard. We get to the game, please. Ah! Leafs lose 6-5 to the Pittsburgh Penguins in a barn burner. And by barn burner, I mean tire fire. You know how Lars Eller of the Montreal Canadiens referred to the Edmonton Oilers as a junior team and that got everyone all, oh, oh. I've seen a lot of junior games in my day. That was a junior game. And I'm gonna rant on the Leafs, believe me, but Penguins fans, if you're watching, I know a lot of you do, I wanna talk about the Pittsburgh Penguins. Because I'm just gonna change my mindset. I am done thinking the Pittsburgh Penguins are a good team. The Pittsburgh Penguins are a, a team, for sure. They're decent, perhaps above average. Any team with Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin on it should be above average. But they might be the biggest Barbie team in the league. And by Barbie team, I mean all top, no bottom. And I think the reason I'm angry about it is how dare the Pittsburgh Penguins, how dare they be anything but great? How dare this all-star team on ice be anything but a dynasty? It should be the Penguins and Blackhawks neck and neck every year for the cup. Can the Penguins hold a match to the Blackhawks? Not right now. And yes, the Penguins made it to the Final Four last season, but anything that's not the final should be a disappointment for them. IMO. IMHO. They look completely lost on most of the Leafs goals. The 3-1 goal by Kessel? Bozak made Chris Letang look like a beer leaguer. And there's been all this talk about, oh, P.K. Subban can't be on Team Canada. He's not defensively responsible enough. How dare you say that about him while Chris Letang exists? And he does a lot of good things too. He's a great player, but... Penguins fans, I'm not hating on your team. I just look at them on paper and I go, how are you not in first place always forever? And here's a question that's probably going to be unpopular. The perception is that Dan Bilesma is a great coach. And I'm definitely not going to say he's not a great coach, but I watch the Penguins some nights and I'm like, let's look into that. Then again, it's not like he makes Marc-Andre Fleury cough the puck up behind the net. Now... The Leafs. They get outshot 17 nothing in the third and 2 nothing in overtime. An improvement. I don't care if you're Jonathan Bernier, James Reimer, Terry Sawchuk come back to life with crazy adamantium robot arms. That's a tough hill to climb. It's not the 17 that bothers me because we're pretty used to the Leafs giving that up. It's the nothing. And this is some of the frustration that comes with the debates online where people go, no, it's Leafs strategy to push all the shots to the outside. And there is some evidence that, yeah, the Leafs man to get a lot of shots to the outside. But do you honestly look at last night and tell me they meant to do that? Shots are like 8, 9, 10, nothing in the third, and the Leafs are like, we got him right where we want him. I refuse to believe Mark Fraser is 100% better from his injury. There was one shift where Paul Ranger went, ah, and saw Crosby, and then looked the other way and went, ah, and saw Malkin. Cody Franzen is a great offensive defenseman, but wow, does he get pile on some nights. Kadri had a sick goal, but he was on Malkin for a lot of the game and just could not keep up at parts. And Trevor Smith played five shifts, Colt Nor played six and Peter Holland played seven. What's the point? The Leafs don't have four lines. They have three lines and three random dudes every game because they don't play them. They don't even care what position they play. Do you play wing? No, I'm a center. Well, you're wing now. And I'm not saying this tires out the other three lines or the Leafs' top players or whatever, but they can't be as fresh as the other ones. And Jared Smithson only won four of ten faceoffs, and when he's not winning faceoffs, what is he on the team for? Smithson only plays 31 seconds a shift. That ranks 746th in the NHL. You know how many players have played a game so far this season? 747. The only player who averages less than that is Anton Lander and he's only played one game. So again, when he's not winning faceoffs, off. You know who had a good game? JVR obviously had a good game. Two goals, an assist, very nice. Dion Phaneuf had a great game. He was blocking shots, making nice little stick plays. He got an assist and was a plus two. How was he a plus two in this game? And the goal he got an assist on doesn't count towards his plus minus. So he was on the ice for at least three Leaf goals. And credit where credit's due, I thought Tyler Bozak looked mighty fine. Outside of that, if you can't generate a shot for an entire period and overtime, but your team weakness is considered to be defense, you're screwed. And again, I've given notice some credit, but it was no secret that part of this team's huge weakness was defense and they did nothing zilchoid in the summer to fix it what did they do they got paul ranger whatever that's a low cost risk don't worry about it maybe he'll work out and tj brennan who they haven't played yet even though he's lighting it up in the ahl and they scratched gardner who laid an egg against columbus granted but he's been pretty good in general this season and he wasn't any better or worse than fraser so you scratch one of your better defensemen and you have a bad game weird it sucks that the leafs even got a point from that game it sucks that the penguins got two points from that game that 
that piece of crap was a three-point game! How much time? What other things can I rant about? I'm, I'm thinking Dave Nonis has to make a trade. Granted, this team doesn't have David Bullen. Maybe they'd be a better team with him on the ice. Maybe they'd be a different team with him on the ice. Injuries happen. Fix it. Think of the Leafs as a suit. Now, at the end of last season, the Leafs had a really nice blazer. Think of the fanciest blazer you can think of. That's the offense. But they were wearing these gray, stained-up Trevor Phillips from GTA 5 sweatpants. That's the defense. And the nicest pair of shoes. That's the goaltending. What did the Leafs get this summer? A David Clarkson tie and a new pair of shoes. There's mustard stains in your pants! Have some self-respect! The Leafs have 301 shots. That's 28th in the league. And they've allowed 417 against. That's also 28th. So they've been outshot 417 to 301. They didn't mean to do that. I don't care what you say about strategy. That blows. Do something about it because it's making me sad. Question of the game. What do you do to address the Leafs sweatpants issue? Because I'm thinking get new pants. Phaneuf is like a nice belt holding up sweatpants. That's it for this one. Click like on the video. Click subscribe on my YouTube channel. Brand new Steve Dangle podcast on iTunes and SoundCloud. Check that out. And... I hate everything.